Hello everyone. Apologies for taking over the cliff, but um, I have a few words that I would love to share with you. My name is Hassan and uh, five years ago, I was on the other side of this channel trying to cross here. These cliffs were actually visible from our makeshift camp and uh, they represented hope. Hope that I would live a safe and a stable life here in Britain, having fled my war-torn country. Similar to those who were arriving recently, I had to put my trust in the people smuggler because a safe and a legal option to seek asylum here was and still is unavailable. Crossing the sea on a rubber dinghy is terrifying and devastating. Devastating because it makes you feel so helpless and insignificant, and I wouldn't wish it for my worst enemy. Despite the growing number of people making the crossing to seek asylum here, Britain is not facing a refugee crisis. There are around 30 million refugees around the world, and Britain is home to only 1% of them. Britain is, however, facing other crises, but we are being used again as a distraction from the actual crises facing this country, caused by the people who are running it. I'll say it again, they are using us to distract you from how badly they have managed during this pandemic. The past few months have proved that the people who made Britain their home didn't hesitate to roll up their sleeves and keep this country running during the worst public health crisis in modern history. From harvesting our produce to stacking our shelves, from delivering our takeaways to looking after our elderly and sick, from driving our buses to, in my case, cleaning my hospital to help the NHS. The only difference between you and us is luck. We did not choose for our countries to become so unsafe that even the deadly sea offered a better prospect. The past few months have proved that wherever we come from in the world, we are united by the love and concern we hold towards our loved ones. Just like you, we want what's best for us and for our families. 